Okay, welcome back to the godmanmovie.com. Again, you can call us at 619 266 4000 and you can write us Brian Tomlinson, PO Box 2500, Escondido, California 92033. God bless you. And the series is stepping into the shadow of the Almighty. How for God to get God's attention and to get your prayers answered. And this is very important because a lot of people give up under pressure. So we're going to talk about Luke chapter 18, verse 1 through 8. Then he spoke a parable to them, and the man always ought to pray and not to lose heart, saying, There was a certain city, a judge, who did not fear God, nor regard man. Now there was a widow in the city, and she came to him saying, Listen to this. This is how you start praying. When you get on your knees, you say, get justice for me from my adversary. Because the devil goes to God accusing us daily. So every day, eight times a day, try to get on your knees for a minute to five minutes and pray and seek God and pray and repent for your family. Intercede for your family. Intercede for your friends, even your enemies, and ask God to save and deliver them. And God will touch them. And he would not for a while. See, sometimes, the, like in James, it says, James 1, verse 1 and 2, it says, Count it all joy when you fall in the direst temptations, knowing that the trying of your faith worketh patience. The word patience in the Greek is waiting on God. Acts chapter 5. Peter said, but we will wait, we will, we will wait on the Lord. We will fast and pray and wait on the Lord and minister to the Lord. So it's very important for the church to get back to waiting on Jesus. So he will appear in the water trough. In the book of Genesis, it talks about a man who created a water trough. And every time the sheep would come, they would get... They would get duplicated exactly what they saw in the tree, in the fruit, in the reflection in the water. And this is what we're talking about. Prayer causes a reflection in the water. Prayer causes Jesus to show up in the water. Whatever you're praying for, see it come in the past. Expect it to happen in the name of Jesus. And the Bible said, and he would not for a little while, but afterward he said, within himself. See, God will, you'll cause God's heart to turn your captivity. He will, it will activate the well in God. That's what we're talking about today. Today, activating your well. The, the, the Bible says in John 5, in you will be a fountain springing up into everlasting water in the name of Jesus. I command you to be healed. I command you to walk in divine health and I command you to walk in divine life. I activate your well in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It is well, it is well, it is well. Watch this. But for a little while, he didn't do anything, but afterward, say afterward, afterward, he said within himself, though I do not fear God nor regard man, yet because of this widow troubles me, you got to trouble God. You got to go before God. You got to stop listening to the devil telling to you, the devil, that that person is not coming out of that coma, that that person is not coming out of that, that adultery, that that person is not coming out of that homosexuality or a, a le lesbianism. But in the name of Jesus, if you begin to seek God and turn from your wicked ways, you'll begin to send out a signal. You begin out a signal of righteousness. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of its righteousness. Then all these things, things shall be added unto you because why you're sending out a signal of God's word you're reminding God of God's word in the courtroom hallelujah in the courtroom and you're turning the heart of God because you have the evidence of the resurrection you have the evidence that Jesus rose from the dead and he sits on the right hand of the father and so no matter what the devil says to accuse you you're excused by the blood of the lamb you're excused by the word of God. The Bible said the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And then the Bible says in 1 Corinthians, I think chapter 11, the Bible said, unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, that's what Jesus said, you have no part in me. But when you begin to take communion, hallelujah, the Bible says you activate the Holy Spirit, you activate this living well to minister to God. To remind God that you've been excused from your sins by the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And then you begin to be like that widow. Hallelujah. The Bible says, because 
she yet because the widow troubles me i will avenge her i will you will be avenged hallelujah you will be recompensed hallelujah you be regenerated, hallelujah. Least by her continual coming, she wearies me. Then the Lord said, hear what the unjust just said. And shall God not avenge his elect? Shall God not avenge you for what you're going through? The worry. These are bleeding issues in your armor. But in the name of Jesus, I command the Holy Spirit to seal the bleeding in your armor. All you got to do is say, God, Jesus, come into my heart. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. And the name of Jesus Christ, the Spirit of Santos and Corazon, the song of Jesus Christ, the, the poder, the, the Fergo, hallelujah, the inferno of the Spirit of Santos, hallelujah. Jesus is the power of the fire of the Holy Spirit, hallelujah. Like Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego went into the fire, glory to God, hallelujah. And they became the fire because greater was in them. Hallelujah, that was in the world. Greater is he that is within you than he is within the world. The Holy Spirit makes you equal with God. And then the Bible said it's not robbery to be equal with God. You become equal with God with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hmm, glory to God. And will not God avenge his own elect who cry out day and night to him, though he bears long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. So I want you to put your hands up right now, wherever you are. I don't care if you got cancer, AIDS. I don't care what you've done. God forgives you. Just say, Jesus, I've lived an immoral home life. I want you to know that Jesus is the Savior. Jesus is the Deliverer. Jesus is the Sanctifier. When you call on his name and ask him to forgive you of your sins, he does all three of those elements. Saves, cleanses, delivers, all three. Set you free, whom the Lord has set free is free indeed. I know your mind and your, your of your memory bank and your conscience still still accuses you, but it says in John 10, it says that 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 the eternal spirit will cleanse you from dead works to serve a living God. No, excuse me, that's Hebrews chapter 10. It says it says he will purge you from dead works. These are those dead trees, like it says in Jude, dead trees. You have to get these dead trees who remind you that you are all sinner saved by grace. You was a sinner, but 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 says, I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'll be right back. Glory to God. Call now 619-266-4000. A prayer counselor is standing by. Make your pledge. For the GodManMovie.com. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God.